Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Uh, now in this uh, lecture we will study what are the different methods of preparation of the phenol, how we can prepare phenols. Phenols can be prepared from haloarenes, halogen attached with the benzene ring and normally haloarenes are you know least reacted towards the acid reactions, towards the nucleophilic substitution reactions. Right? We know that you know in haloarenes, you know it's difficult to remove the chlorine by any other nucleophile because uh, the chlorine here has got the lone pair of electrons and the electron pair is actually in conjugation. Now it, there is resonance, right? And there's a chlorine. There is actually the chlorine carbon double bond, right? Due to the resonance, we know we have learned it in aryl halides. And here the ortho position gets negative charge, chlorine gets positive charge because the electron pair shifts towards the ortho position here. So due to the resonance, due to the lone pair of electrons on the chlorine here, so it is always difficult to remove the chlorine because the uh, chlorine and the carbon, now it has a double bond character and it is difficult to break this bond, the carbon and chlorine bond. So that's why uh, haloarenes are least reactive towards the nucleophilic substitution reaction. You know nucleophile, for a nucleophile it is quite difficult to remove this chlorine because of the resonance. However, you can remove it but we have to use the drastic conditions. We have to use very high temperature. You can see here 623 kelvins and 300 atmospheres. Quite high temperature, right? So uh, at a very high temperature and the high pressure you can replace this chlorine by the hydroxide, right? So hydroxide here is a nucleophile and this hydroxide can replace this chlorine and you get the OH. So basically, you know, since the reaction mixture is basic and phenols, we know, you know, you, you can expect uh, initially to get the phenol, but since the reaction mixture contains, uh, you know, it, it's basic because of the sodium hydroxide. So therefore the phenol being acidic, uh, it forms with the salt of it, right? It forms with the sodium salt. So H plus is replaced by the sodium. And actually, you know, you get the salt of the phenol, right? You get a sodium salt of the phenol here. And then to get phenol, what we do? We acidify it. We put some acid in it, right? So here, when you put some HCl, the H plus ion will replace the sodium and you get the phenol. This is uh, a pretty simple reaction, right? So this is a substitution reaction and nucleophilic substitution reaction, aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Here, the chlorine is being replaced by, you know, Cl negative is replaced by the hydroxide group, right? It is replaced by the hydroxide group. So one nucleophile replaces another nucleophile. So this is a uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction. Another method, also we can prepare it from the benzene diazonium chloride. We can start with aniline, but from aniline, again, due to the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen, right? The lone pair of electron is under resonance here, and there will be a double bond between, you know, just like halogens, right? We have learned that there's a lone pair uh, on the halogen and that is under resonance with the aromatic ring. Same is the case with the NH2 aniline. The lone pair of electron is under resonance, so there will be a double bond character between the nitrogen and this carbon here. And that's why it is difficult to remove uh, the NH2 group here by any nucleophile. So, therefore, we convert aniline into this diazonium salt, right? Diazonium salt, you know, we do the diazotization sodium nitride and HCl, okay? Sodium nitride and HCl mixture and it produces the diazonium salt. So you get the N2Cl negative. Basically in the diazonium salt, you know, if, when you get a diazonium compound here, uh, there is nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond and there's a positive charge on this particular nitrogen which is attached with the benzene ring. Now, Due to the absence of the lone pair of electron on this particular nitrogen which is attached to the benzene ring, now, you know, it is easy to break this bond between the carbon and nitrogen because it does not have a lone pair of electrons now. In the diazonium salt actually, right, it doesn't have, the nitrogen does not have a lone pair of electron. You can see here the N2 plus Cl negative. This is basically a salt, right? It forms a salt. This is the benzene diazonium salt. And from the benzene diazonium salt, you can easily replace you know we can use any nucleophile at a lower temperature we don't have to use the drastic conditions right so a nucleophile now can attack on this carbon and it can replace this nitrogen as n2 as a nitrogen gas 
So here we use the water as a nucleophile. The water molecule acts as a nucleophile and due to the lone pair of electrons, it attacks on it and nitrogen is lost as N2. And actually, if, uh, you know, we, you get initially, you get when uh, oxygen attacks on it, what do you get? You get the OH, right, like this, with the oxygen having the positive charge. Okay, and then, you know, this intermediate then replaces the hydrogen as H+, plus, that reacts with the Cl negative, and that forms with HCl, and you get the OH only. That means you get the phenol at the end, right? So this is pretty simple. Anilate, we convert into the diazonium salt and then diazonium salt. Now from the diazonium salt, you can replace it, you can replace the nitrogen any with any nucleophile. Even the weaker nucleophiles can replace it. The water uh, also can replace the nitrogen there. You can replace it with uh, other halogen atoms also from the diazonium. You can, that means from the benzene diazonium salt, we can also prepare the, you can also prepare the alkyl halides also, right? Because halogen, suppose, can replace the nitrogen there. The halide ion, right? Suppose, you can, that can replace this one. And that thing, you know, that reaction we have learned in the aryl halides. You know, how we prepare the aryl halides. Suppose, chlorobenzene from the diazonium salt. We use there the uh, HCl and copper chloride. And then, the chlorine can replace the nitrogen there. So, any nucleophile can replace, you know, this uh, nitrogen from the benzene diazonium salt. Because of the absence of the lone of electron, the nitrogen with the positive charge now, you know, it is this bond strength breaks, you know, it becomes less, right? The bond strength decreases here, and you can replace it with any nucleophile. Another method, we can, you know, prepare it from the benzene sulfonates, right? So from the benzene sulfonates, you can also prepare the phenols. And benzene sulfonate is prepared by the reaction of the benzene with the oleum, right? Oleum is actually the mixture of SO3 and H2SO4. So you get the sulfonate group here, right? You get the SO3 group here, SO3H. And when you first react with the sodium hydroxide, see, in the benzene uh, sulfonates here, if you look at the structure, it's somewhat like this, SO3, and then, in the reaction, in, uh, in, in the basic medium, in the sodium hydroxide, you know, this molecule is actually first in the for, you know, first it forms the salt of it. So it's actually like this. The hydrogen is being replaced by the sodium. It forms with the ONA, right? It forms with the salt of it. from the sodium benzene sulfonate and then you know the sodium hydroxide now the nucleophile actually can attack on it and it can replace this whole group okay it can replace this whole group from it and what do you get you get the benzene ring with the phen with the OH right and this compound sodium sulfur, three oxygen atoms, right? Actually, it is lost as Na2SO3 because one of the sodium ion from the sodium hydroxide forms the salt with this and if it forms the sodium sulfate, you get the phenol. And since the reaction mixture is basic, actually the phenol is not in the form of phenol, it will be there in the reaction mixture, uh, in the basic medium actually it will be in the form of a salt, right? It will be in the form of a sodium salt or phenol. That's why the second reaction is that we have to acidify the reaction mixture. Okay? So that means when you react to the benzene sulfonate with the sodium hydroxide, you actually get, first of all, you get this compound, right? This is the compound that you get from the sodium hydroxide by the reaction of sodium hydroxide with the benzene sulfonate. And then, the second reaction is, the second point is, we have to acidify the reaction mixture by adding some acid in it. Suppose we by adding some HCl in it and making it acid acidic. Now it will replace the sodium and what you get, you get the OH, you get the phenol. So we once you acidify the reaction mixture, you, uh, you get the phenol. Right? Another method is from the cumene also, right? From cumenes also we can uh, prepare 
the phenols. Two step process again. Cumin is oxidized with the uh, with the oxygen with the O2 at a high temperature around 130 degrees Celsius, right? And then what you get? What you get? You get a peroxide. So you get the cumin hydroperoxide. Here is the peroxide linkage. Actually, this particular particular hydrogen now uh, is replaced, and you get a peroxide linkage there, right? By the oxidation, right? At 130 degrees Celsius. And then this cumin hydrogen peroxide, when it is you know uh, treated with the sulfuric acid in the acidic medium by the hydrolysis, what you get? You know this particular group is replaced here as an acetone, right? You can see, and it forms the phenol. Okay, this OH group goes here and forms the phenol. So you get the phenol plus this one. And cumin, you know, uh, is also called an isopropyl benzene, right? Isopropyl group is attached with the benzene. And normally, you know, this uh, isopropyl benzene, you get it when we do the alkylation uh, to the benzene ring. So but you take the benzene and direct with the CH3, single bond CH, double bond CH2. This is the reaction that I have explained in the aromatic compounds, the different types of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So you can just go over to that topic and just see what is the mechanism of the formation of the cumin. Actually here, you know, we, we replace the hydrogen by the alkyl group, right? By this one, okay? And, you know, you get the cumin, right? And from cumin, first we do the oxidation and you get the peroxide and the peroxide upon treatment with the H2SO4, right? You get the phenol and acetone. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.